G'day YouTube and all you soapers out there. Uh, again, another review for you guys. Um, like I said in the last video, just trying to catch up on them and put some more information out there for you. Um, just uh, what I'll be reviewing today is the Chaos model um, by Soap. Uh, these were made when uh, Soap Shoes was owned by Healing Sport Limited, which they still are, but then now both companies are owned by Sequential Brands Group who unfortunately are doing nothing with soap shoes um, as you all may be aware it's fucking bullshit, it sucks uh, so like I said what I am reviewing is the Chaos which is uh, now before I tell you uh, Chaos is very similar to um, a whole bunch of other shoes Healy's put out this is the problem this is one of the main reasons soap pretty much died uh, he always put out like four or five different models of shoes that were too similar. They all looked the same. They all had the non-removable um, um, express plate. Sorry, um, which don't get me wrong, good plate. Don't mind it. Um, you know, good grooves. You know, um, good lock on. You know, once you groove it a bit more, you can tweak them. Nice. You know, fast plate. Pretty good. Um, but like I said, they made. Too many shoes that look the same. Uh, very, very um, subtle differences. So it's just there was like the Chaos, the Express, the Nitro, and uh, just some other ones. And it was just it was just very, very poor marketing. But overall, the shoe um, here it is. This is the Chaos. It's um, sorry again about the lighting, fellas. It's uh, just you know, dark in here. I can't do nothing about it. So, uh, very, very light shoe. Um, look, I don't mind the styling, but it's just like, you know, yeah, one shoe look like this, good. You know, make something else that looks different, you know, but like I said, they just all look too much the same. But, um, yeah, so this is the Chaos anyway. It's, um, like, it's got a mesh upper, um, a, a, a file on or something, whatever they pronounce it, um, midsole so it's it's really super light this is the lightest soap shoe I've ever come across and never had the uh, pleasure of using so um, it's just it's just crazy it's got the express plate like I said you know, you know good lock on on the rails with that, that you know once you groove it like these are these are still pretty much brand new I've used them only a handful of times you know um, because I love me scabs and stuff, the old ones. Even though they're heavy, I love being able to replace plates and swap them out for what I want to do, ledges, rails, whatever. So, but overall, um, yeah, the Chaos, uh, same with the Express and stuff, very, very light shoe, like, just the weight difference. These, you hold a scab or a clean and one of these, it's just, it's, 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 um, yeah, it's just crazy. Um, so, it's, very comfortable shoe um, even though like because they started using different materials it's still a pretty comfortable shoe what I don't like though is um, under the tongue they got a uh, bit of elastic it goes from the tongue to the uh, the, the uh, midsole of the shoe you know I don't know why they did that I don't like that because the elastic you know sits against your foot it just feels unnatural um, I think it's around the craze of when they had shoes with no uh, laces if everyone remembers them like a big craze of oh yep slip on shoes elastic so I think I try and incorporate that with the uh, laces as well so but that just feels shit because the placement of that's all wrong but good thing about these is um, the new enough uh, pair of soaps that you're able to use them with the uh, the insoles like these don't really break as far as I know. It's starting to lift a little bit here, so I might end up eventually replacing it, but I think that's just the glue wearing off. Whereas other ones out of the older models and stuff, they will uh, fall apart completely. As you can see, look at that. These are out of the Prabas, and this shit becomes sticky, so I can't stress enough when you buy a pair of soap shoes, throw out the liners, except like with the chaos or whatever, the newer model soaps, no, they seem to be holding up. But just keep an eye on it if you do to see decide to use them. Uh, keep an eye on them if they start falling apart too much. Toss the shit out of as you wreck the inside of your shoe. So, like I said, this one's starting to lift a bit on me, but I'll keep using it and keep an eye on it. But um, the older model soaps, 
toss that shit out, man. I can't stress it enough because I didn't do that with my first pair of scabs because I didn't know because I was still just starting out. It took me like a day to try and clean the shit out, and it was just it was just horrible, sticky mess. It just yeah. See, look at that split right down the middle. Whereas these ones, yeah, holding up pretty well. I think it's a bit different material anyway. So um, overall though, my opinion on the Chaos is that's a fairly good shoe. That's the styling's not too bad. Kind of to me. Uh, people will probably disagree. It reminds me a little bit of the A side, just the uh, styling. So, which are only two pairs, mind you. Derek Brooks. Um, you can follow him on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and all that. Um, he's he's a good bloke. Whenever he gets the time, if you have a question, he's he's sure to answer stuff. He also runs a Solid Grind app where you can grab some soap stickers if you're after them, and um, you know maybe a video or two. You know. Everything else has been bought, so um, mainly by me and everyone else who got there first. So, but if he ever, um, if he's ever free or whatever, just shoot him a message. He's he's always sure to make time for you guys and answer any questions you have. You know, so just like he's just like anyone though. You know, don't don't pass the people. So, but um, he always he always makes time and answer questions every time I have a query. You might not get back straight away, but he will. So, but he's the one who made Solid Grind. So, uh, Derek Brooks, check him out. Follow his YouTube and all that. Uh, same with all the former soapers if you get a chance. You know, Ryan Jay, he's still into it a lot, so he's doing it. Uh, Jerry Barbera's uh, got a blading company coming out if you watch his interview with Ryan Jay. So. But um, overall, yeah, to me, like I said, they remind me a bit of the A side, so um, I don't mind the styling, but that's where Heelys went wrong, is they made too many shoes look the same. They just completely fucked up, so. But, um, very light though, like I said, just nothing to the thing. It even sounds hollow. You know, it's like, it's, uh, yeah, very light. Like, it feels like you're wearing almost nothing at all coming straight from the scab, so. But, um, the, the plate placement's good, you know, they, they learn, you know, what to do. Um, for your, for you to, for you who don't know, who haven't watched the interview, uh, Joey Barbera actually was the one who told Hulies they should buy soap because, they wanted to make the hybrid shoe, so um, that's why the plate placement's good because he uh, told them, you know, he advised them where to go. So they got something right there, you know. They picked a good bloke to uh, poach, uh, to say, uh, so to speak. But um, yeah, overall, you know, very light shoe. It is quite comfortable. Um, plates, they're pretty fast plates. I got to admit, they slide really good. Uh, metal, plastic, whatever. And um, those of you who are just starting and don't know much about grinding, if you're sliding on a metal rail or coping, um, if it's rusty, you got to sandpaper that shit to get the rust off, then give it a light coat of wax, light coat, that's all you need, and then you should be sliding fine. So same with ledges, you know, don't just go grinding on concrete, you need you need wax on the concrete, but don't overkill it. If you're death wax, then you're just going to fuck yourself up. If you want to check out Ryan Johnson's uh, YouTube channel, he explains all this in his uh, instructional videos. So, but um, yeah, you find um, you can find chaoses and stuff a lot. They're they're still around, like Rock uh, and SkateHut.com. They got them up to like a size ten and stuff. Same as the Express, which is pretty much the same shoe. A uh, few other differences, not much though. So, if you can pick yourself up a pair. Very very light shoe. Um, downside plates are non-replaceable. I was saying to cement it on, but if you're not grinding a shitload of concrete and stuff, they should last you a while because they're still a pretty thick plate. So, um, yep, yeah. keep soaping, fellas, and enjoy it. Hope you are enjoying these reviews and they're uh, informative to you. So, um, next review coming up will not be shoes, they'll actually be about the Soapy McDuck as it's come to know. Um, I'll explain more in the next video and enjoy.